Welcome to another episode of Sky Factory 3. And in this episode, I've finally done it. I have finally done it. It's been a long road. Many, many, many Ender Dragons have died. When I finally have enough awakened Draconium to start this bad boy up. And there we have it. The tier 8. I think it's tier 8. Tier 8? Yeah, tier 8 energy core. Now, this little bag of goodies. I should. Wrong bag of goodies. And this bag of goodies. <laughs> we have the things we need to set up. The power. Now, I think I kind of want them down here. Do I need regular, like, building blocks? I think I did. Yes, some cobble. I think I wanted it, like, one, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, from here. We put that, that, this, and this. And I think that should be close enough to this. That when I put the glass on top, bam. Yes. Bam. 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 All right, now these are all, I think, set to send power in. Yeah, that's send power in, send power in. Send power in, send power in. I only need one to set power out. And eeny, meeny, miny, I think you. You will be set to power out. The rest of them that are set to power in, the first one over here, I, I want to get under you. I'm going to set up a flux plug, 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 there we go, and you are going to be energy one, which is my first reactor, and it's going to ignore limit. So you should be getting energy from my very first reactor. Yeah, which is 620 R if a tick. Then we're going to set up this to max reactor, ignore limit. And that, yep. We are currently putting in 248k a tick of energy. Not bad. It'll never fill this thing up. But I thought I'd be putting in like more than that. Is this still going up? Yeah, it's still going up. Yeah, because I'm emptying the buffer.
So yeah. The transfer we want to get to try to get to a, a billion RF, that's not going to happen. But these are for our max reactors right here. This right here is for something else. I'm going to go ahead and put that plug down. But currently do not have power generation yet for it. All right. I don't have any power outs yet. There will be only one fux plug for the power out, and everything that requires power will share it. All right. We're making some progress. I need to go and take everything that is drawing power from the max reactor and set it to... I need to put the concrete back. Where, where did I take it out? Over here, right? Yep. There. So, home point. I believe I have one buried in here. Bum, 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 bum. It's up there. All right. Now, I need to create a new network, which means I need something that sends power. This and receives power. Oh dear. So, I need one that sends energy. I need to create you. Then I need to go install it. And the one that's going out, which is you, I need to go down. All right, now I need to create a network. Create new network. All right, I want this color to be... Kind of gold. I think I'll go with that. We'll call this the sun. There we go, the sun. And it will ignore limit. All right. So now we need to go to home. I need to know whether or not this is sending, I think this flux plug right here is sending power out of this max reactor. Yeah, energy one. So what I need to do is rewire this thing. Because I really need that down here. And this... right about here needs to be a flux plug 
maybe right here so that I can still get around the corner. And this needs to be receiving from the sun. And it's not going to ignore limit. Hmm, it's not receiving any power. Or is it? Is it just receiving it so little power that it's not recognizing it? This should be sending, receiving power and sending it to these areas in here that need it, that feed the uh, various crafters. But it doesn't look like it actually takes much power to do what it does. And that, that up there I don't think takes any. It actually receives power from here. So that's going to be unsettled when I break connections up there. So this, this, actually I just need to rename because this is just energy one. All right. I'll, I'll be going back in there to rewire. But up here... I need, I think everything eventually comes out of various crafters. So if I break it here and then take that and put this flux point here. I think I need the flux plug there. Alright, so this needs to be set up to the sun. That powers the wireless charger and most things down here. Right? This is all trial and error. And then up here... Right here, I need one of these. 
also set up to sun. This one is auto sifter one. Trying to keep my energy somewhat somewhat uh what's the word I'm looking for? organized. I want it to be neat. Alright, now this sends energy. So this should only send power from a reactor to the uh, sun. It's the only thing it does. There are three points connected to it. Should only be one. That one. This one should not. Wait, why, why is that? I'm going to go reconfigure it. Alright, so... Let's go back to the sun. That should be the bottom one, right? Energy one. or limit. All right. All right. I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> All right. So This is sending power, but I can't see it on... There it goes. This is sending power. Looks like it's sending... Yep. It's sending the max that it generates. So this is all neat and organized. So I can seal this up again. And I should probably Right, this is getting power off of this, which is sent from the sun. All right. And that feeds off that way. I think the only other flux plugs I have...
are no power down here. This is powered off of that line in. And that powers this room. So let's check refined storage because I think that's the only other place. That and uh, my draconic evolution. Now your power comes in down here from that flux plug there you need to set to sun and you need to um, I'm gonna leave it to faults on ignore limit because right now I don't think that it is <sighs> come on Guess what's down? Priority one. You know what's wrong? I just figured it out. That's why. I need this. I need this. Oh dear. And we're back! That was frustrating, but at least I know what the problem is now. The problem is this area is not chunk loaded. So I have to claim it all and then chunk load it. Thankfully, I just barely had enough chunks to do that. <laughs> so now that it's chunk loaded, this thing should be up and running all the time. The reason why everything was, like, throwing me errors is because... See, now, now it's loaded because the power source is chunk-loaded. Oh, that was, that was frustrating. Yeah, see, see, now, now this makes more sense. This thing requires a crap ton of power. We'll set this thing up to the sun as well. 
and it needs to be set to ignore limit. All right. The last thing is this. This should be the last one I have to change now. I have to get in here. Where... Maybe I don't have to get in here. Is this... Yeah, that's all wireless. It's uh, off the other power source. So the only thing I need to change is the flux plugs that are connected to the... Uh, those are all Ender I.O. connections. The power doesn't go anywhere. Redstone signal. All right, so the power is all up here. Like there. And there, and here, and here, there. We should all be switched over now. Everything should be on... Everything should be drawing power from this. And both my power sources should be sending power to this. Looks like it. We still have a huge surplus of power. It looks... Like we're getting 248k, which is 248,000 power, in per tick. Now. I need to go here. Because I need to pick up one more of these. And now I need to go here. So that I'm not wasting power, this thing practically runs off a... Yeah, now it's starting to build up a buffer. going to create a network rainbow one and we're going to make this purple why not rainbow one is going to be purple
and it's going to ignore limit. This is Ender Pearl. It is the Ender Generator, so that's what I'm going to call it Ender Generator. And that, oh, I did not finalize. Did not hit the create button. There we go. Ignore limit true. Ender gen. All right. Time to e empty this buffer out into the sun. This one right here. rename these as well. Whole point is to uh, stay somewhat organized in my network so that I know basically what everything is. That should be a little bit more power. Not a whole lot. I mean it's only 20 RF a tick for that one generator. But it's part of getting the rainbow generator up and running. My plan is to automate each of the generators in a different area that are completely always on. So that the rainbow generator itself is always on. Rather than just set them all up to run until they run out of ingredients and then that's it. So I need to figure out a way to automate powering of all of the ender generators. Well, all of the rainbow generators. So we've got the ender one going. Right over... Um, is it here? Yeah, right here. And see, I can go in here and go under... See, it's transferring 40 RF a tick. Here, and I can see which ones are going. Obviously, more power will be coming from this one because I've got a whole... My max reactor and the uh, first reactor that I ever built powering this thing. Alright. I think that's very productive in this episode. I've rewired my power network and set up the... Uh, Great big Hadouken Powerball thing. Yeah, level 8 energy core. I never want to fight another Ender Dragon, but I still have to kill Chaos Dragons. And I need to put the walls in here. Right after I set up an elevator system that comes down so that I don't have to break the glass every time I want to come in. But that's this. Uh, I know it's been a while since I last uploaded. Um, I work, uh, so 
I've been doing that, and in between working and days off, I've been farming Ender Dragons, so it took a really absurdly long time to build this thing. Like, a really long time. I recruited one of my friend friends for the uh, last uh, dozen or so Ender Dragon fights, so that I didn't have to do it alone, because it gets very repetitive and very boring. But it's done now. <laughs> Let's go check that achievement off. Because I'm, I'm fairly sure that's an achievement, right? That should be an achievement. Alright, let's see. It's been a while since we've been in here, so let's go through it. See if we got any... Have not done the cow in the jar. I have not created an iron seed, believe it or not. I have craft. I'm not actually have not crafted a superior apple. I've crafted golden apples. Oh, I have traveled to the end and obtained an elytra. I have not trained an ender dragon yet. I have automated loot bag creation, opening, and compression. I have linked an ender pouch to an ender chest. I have processed sieve materials to ingots, but I don't know if that means automate the process. I have automated all the way up to gathering the materials, but not automated the going into ingots part. Well, actually, I have, because... Yellow right. Yellow right. Okay. Create an actively cooled reactor from Extreme Reactors mod. Have not done that yet. I might do that soon. Create a turbine from the Extreme Reactors. I've done all the way up to 1 million RF a tick. Let's see here. I have automated wither killing. I have built a uh, tier 6 energy core. I skipped that, went right to tier 8. I have a charm of dislocation. I have resurrected a dragon. I do not know what a draconic battery is, but I gotta fill one of those. I think I have a Draconic level Fusion Crafter, but I'm not going to check that yet. This is what I'm going to do next. Build a dimension, travel to it, and stay for at least 10 minutes. I actually intend to build a dimension and do a mini-series in that dimension with builds and everything. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, use an absorber to create custom liquid or block dimension. Create a dimension of rarity 4 or higher. Can I create an absorber, absorber to create a custom awakened draconium dimension? If I can, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> Use a syringe to create a dimension with ender dragons. That would have been helpful. See, this this is what I need to do right here. Produce one billion RF a tick. I think I have 20 different chickens. 
And they're all automated. But I'm going to have to go count them. All right, and that's the achievement book, so that's uh, quite a few achievements I checked off since last time, and I think that's where I'm going to end the episode. It's been fun, guys, and hopefully now that the grindy grindy part's over, you will see more episodes, which is kind of why I want to create the RF Tools world, where I can just do a regular series, so that if I haven't actually made any progress on the Sky Factory aspect of it, I can put out an episode of uh, me tinkering and tooling around in, in the dimension. So, there's that. We'll see. It's been fun, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.